you have to choose between economics and advanced mathematics and most of the people choose economics and i would also suggest you to choose economics because advanced mathematics would be another subject on your head and if you're preparing for other economics entrance examination advanced mathematics is something which you are not preparing for so only prepare for the first three one two and three a there's a question is engineering math sufficient for that advanced math part oh uh, yes it is sufficient but i would strongly advise against it because you'll have to give some amount of input to it let me just show you the questions for your advanced math part then you understand what i'm trying to tell you so see you are getting a question on your set theory then a bit of real analysis convex and concave set compact set question on compact set again so a lot of real analysis questions a bit of uh, linear algebra differential equation of multiple variables then uh, again you have multiple variable optimization so i would not advise uh, the this advanced maths part because you will have to prepare for it this won't come naturally to a lot of people so i would not suggest for this there are no difficult questions to be very frank here in economics so if i have to compare if you look at the uh, syllabus here you, if you have to choose between economics and advanced mathematics i would any day choose economics because the level of economics questions in igidr is pretty basic it is unlike isi or dsc the economics questions are not that difficult to solve so i would never choose advanced mathematics i would rather choose your economics over here that would make my life a lot easy